Nikki. Hi. Tell us. It's very early in the morning and we're on our way to Dubai Airport and we're all flying to Stansted Airport in London. Um, I'm flying in first class, very excited. The new first class suite. Ben is going to be flying in economy and Sean, go on, have a little look at yourself. It's flying in business class. I'm flying business class. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yeah, so just this airport is enormous. We are in Terminal 3 in Dubai and looking for the economy check-in area. Hello, how are you? I'm going to London Stansted, please. So I've got my boarding pass. I am in seat 24A for uh, this flight. Now there's no lounge access uh, with an economy ticket and I don't have any status with Emirates either. So uh, no lounge for me today. Um, so I'm just gonna head through security and um, find somewhere to sit. I'm sorry, no economy. Go away. Come on, Johnny, let's go. Okay, um, I am in the separate section of the terminal where first class passengers check in. I can see a sign here which is pointing me to go over to this area, which looks like the place I'm gonna go check in. Looks really quiet, not that fancy actually. I don't know what I was expecting, little red carpets, but um, not the gold bling of Emirates that I thought there might be here. Hi. Uh, to London. How's your check-in experience? <clears throat> Business class desk check-in experience was fast. I had some problem checking in my bag because it was too light, but we managed to go get through. And cool, oh, let's go, let's turn the lounge. So our flight is departing from gate A6, so we're going to take the train to the A gates. There's no separate train transit to the A gates. So while Nikki and John get to go to the business of first class lounges, I'm flying economy, which as you probably know doesn't come with any lounge access. So for me, uh, looking at duty free and just finding somewhere comfortable to sit and wait till boarding. Business class, fifth floor. Nikki, where are we going? Uh, first class lounge. First class, fourth. Business class lounge, time to spa. Bye Nikki, have fun. Bye. I have just come into the first class lounge, but it's not really a first class lounge, it's almost like a first class world. So you walk through the check-in part to the lounge and then all of a sudden you're in a sort of duty-free area and there's just endless, endless amounts of space, shopping, I mean there is nobody around here. It feels like you're just in another part of the airport terminal, which is kind of bizarre actually. I mean, there, I'm looking around, there's literally not one person anywhere. Late for my spa treatment. That was really great. You get 15 minute complimentary treatment when you fly first class. Gate area is really packed. Not a lot of seating. Um, it's almost all full, so there's people actually sitting on the floor. So hopefully uh, find a seat. Let's check out the business class. Lounge. This business class lounge is vast. Lots of options, lots of different restaurants. Ice cream. They have a shower, but it was really busy. It was a queue of nine people in front of me. And one cool thing that I've realized was that you can board from the lounge straight to the gate 
Uh, I have never done this before, so I'm looking forward to do it. So this is the boarding gate. There are buses waiting just here, but they have a separate bus for first class. Uh, so I've been asked to take a seat. There's some seating here. There's actually plenty of places to sit. It's in the same area as everybody else. And other people are waiting to get economy buses too because the, these ones are full. So I'm just going to sit tight and wait for the first class bus to come and pick me up and take me to the aircraft. Well, will you look who it is. Hey. I thought you were going to get a different bus. So nice touch, uh, separate bus from the rest of the passengers to go to the boat gate. It's actually quite a nice way to board, a little added experience, little um, throne seats. It's unbeaten! We get BBC News on the uh, on the big screen live, which is just incredible. Let's look at some other stuff that they have in the cabin. Noise cancelling headphones. Bowers and Wilkins. I'll give these a good run later when I watch a film, but not the most luxurious first class eye mask I've ever seen, but nice and soft jersey cotton nonetheless. Let's try it. Yeah, that's okay. Not the best one ever. And the slipper. Oh, now the slippers. Furry on the bottom. Bit big. Very, oh, very comfortable. In the console here, we also have Woo! a towelette, facial toner, eye cream, glow mist, sleep oil, and a lovely pen. And oh, look at that beautiful leather book. That's super cool. Now one more thing that is so cool in this box which they left by the seat. There is the Nokia's. seat we have this little bar with some refreshments it's very Pepsi country here instead of coca-cola proper glass okay now let's check this out There are really three screens here. There's this very big one here. Then there is a tablet. Then 
the remote. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Nikki, what are you Jeez. doing? How are you doing, darling? Um, this seat is empty. Oh, is it? Sit down. I don't want to stay here, really. My mm. seat's much nicer. Um, this is nice. It is very nice. It's not as nice as mine. I wanted to have a look at yours. I guess you can. Can you see him? <laughs> I can't see him. Oh, is there? Then the seats are really narrow. That's the biggest thing I've found about them so far. Is they are just really got legrooms amazing here because it's an extra legroom seat. But um, yeah, they're just super narrow seats. So um, yeah, very very busy flight, and um, glad I got the extra legroom. We just swap.
is a spiced chicken with rice and pistachios and crispy fried onions. So let's give this a go, it looks really nice. Warm lemon and almond tart and a fresh fruit platter. Let's try this and see how it is. It looks gorgeous. Sean, how's the flight? Very Looks very nice up here. Oh, it's your flight. Ah, it was okay. Sounds the airport. So we are back in London. We landed at Stansted. Um, and apart from the fact that two of our bags have been lost, I'm feeling great. My flight was fantastic, actually. Fantastic food. The seat is probably the comfiest I've ever sat in in the sky. The bed, when it was made into a bed, was also incredible. I just absolutely adored the experience across the board. On the ground in Dubai, wasn't hugely impressed compared to some other stuff, but actually, the onboard product, it's a winner. Ben, how was um, yours? A bit yeah, different, I think. Yeah, a bit different. Check-in was really quick, easy. Uh, terminal 3, Dubai Airport, it was a really nice terminal. Um, I think I was a bit unlucky um, having a seat with someone very broad next to me. It's a very narrow seat in that configuration um, and a bit of a tight squeeze. I'm glad the flight wasn't much longer than it was, but 
food is fantastic, um, great range of IFE, uh, and I thought the staff were really good considering just how packed the economy cabin was. Jeans. Jean, how was your experience? Emirates business class was fun, uh, really comfortable seat, very, uh, felt kind of luxurious in a way. Uh, one of the best foods I've ever had in the sky. I just thought service was really slow and took over an hour to get my lunch and in between courses was really, really slow. What else? Oh yeah, and a miniature kids, I kind of miss that. They don't give for day flights, only for night flights. So I was feeling a little bit like missing it, but otherwise, really good flight.